Hi, my name is Pat O'Connor. I'm the broker owner of the Veracost Real Estate Group. We're located in Coral Springs, Florida. And I've been doing a little traveling this fall. So I just want to share my enthusiasm over living in South Florida and being able to take quick international trips. Like a lot of people, I didn't do much during the pandemic. I let my passport expire. I didn't want to go anywhere. I just kind of hunkered down. But now I've been, you know, vaccinated. I've had the booster shot. There's better treatments out there if you do catch something. So I feel a little bit more confident about going. So my first trip was a couple of months ago. I went to Cozumel and that took about an hour and a half from the Fort Lauderdale area. We have three international, international airports within an hour of Coral Springs. We've got West Palm Beach, we've got Fort Lauderdale, and we've got Miami. So between those three airports, you can pretty much get a direct flight to most anywhere. So Cozumel is due east. It's an island due east of Cancun, Mexico. And I went scuba diving there uh, with a local dive shop. Uh, Dixie Divers is starting to organize um, international trips. And they're located in Deerfield Beach. Hi, Michelle. She's a dive master who organizes these things, and they're terrific. So I felt very safe. Cozumel, the hotel gave us, um, in the resort, not a hotel, the resort is called Ibero Store. And if we tested positive before we came home, they would give us 12 days free stay. And this was an all-inclusive uh, resort, so that would include food. So I had a great time, felt safe on the plane, everybody wore their masks. Uh, at the resort, we only wore the mask when we were at the buffet. So breakfast, lunch, dinner typically are buffets, and they have the shields by the food, you know, like salad bars do, and you would go up and either serve yourself or somebody would serve you. So I felt very comfortable. Then uh, last week I went for five nights to Freeport, Bahamas on another dive trip. I'm kind of making up for lost time here. I only did nine dives in 2020. Um, and so now 2021, I think I have about 40 dives now. So big difference. Uh, so. Bahamas is interesting when you apply for your visa, it's a health visa, you have to upload the results of your COVID test and the visa costs $40 and that includes a mandatory travel insurance. So they will cover you for $500 a day up to $7,000 if your trip is interrupted. So you have to get tested now 24 hours before you leave the island. So if you test positive, you're not allowed to leave. And so the theory is that you should be able to hopefully get a positive test if you've been sick for two weeks. So within that two week period, you should have recovered theoretically enough to test positive. The Bahama travel policy also has 50,000 medical included as well as $50,000 evacuation. So if you're going to the Bahamas, you probably don't want to get additional um, travel insurance unless you're not from Florida, right? Our evacuation costs will be pretty low because it's a half an hour plane ride. <laughs> right? so, so I was... I was in Freeport, Bahamas, came, went from Fort Lauderdale to uh, Grand Bahamas, and the flight, I think, was 40 minutes. Um, so, you know, my bucket list trip is Costa Rica. And, you know, if in New York, yeah, Costa Rica may be a long flight. Here, it's two hours. 
So that's on my bucket list. I want a 10 day eco tour of Costa Rica and I'm gonna get it. And part of the reason is I don't really like to fly. If I have long flights, I usually end up with some kind of a respiratory problem. So two hours is fine. Flying five hours, maybe not so fine for me. Um, so again, to summarize here in South Florida, we've got three international airports. A lot of the cruise ships leave from either Fort Lauderdale or Miami, and they're offering specials right now because of the pandemic. And if you live here, they have some um, like quick alerts. If the ship isn't fully booked, they may offer great specials and say, okay, we're gonna leave in two days. Can you make it in two days? And if you live here, and a lot of us, you know, work from home, or, you know, we can work on the boat just as well, the ship, excuse me. Um, and so, yeah, so those can be great deals. And we also have ferries leaving from um, Fort Lauderdale to go to the Bahamas. So that's another option here. I let my passport expire during the pandemic. And then uh, um, maybe around August, I renewed it so that I could start doing these trips because I was antsy. So that's it. If you live in South Florida, take advantage of the opportunities to have some fun, to have some adventures. If you don't want to travel internationally, Disney World's three hours away. Universal Studios, three hours away. You know, aquariums in Miami, there's lots of stuff to do locally as well. But it's always nice to get a taste of a different culture and a different place and dive with sharks in the Bahamas. So, all right, that's it for this week. Renew your passports, get out there, have some fun. Maybe I'll see you around. Thanks. Bye.